In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use dynamic images and animated texts to create a work instruction for an operator on screen. So I'm going to start off by coming into my toolbox. I've already created a screen and I'm going to come down and find dynamic images. I'm going to drag and drop it onto screen here and I'm just going to resize it and get it roughly correct and then I'm going to use my central align tool to bring it into the middle. Now I'm going to come over to my properties and I'm going to go to object configuration dynamic content object configuration I'm going to say when the value is one I want to add in a new back image I'm going to browse find my image and it's going to ask me if I want to copy to the resource folder the answer is yes we'll add another when the value is two back image and we add another image three dots number two I'm going to keep adding in all four of my photos. Now what I need to do is I need to set the stretch here so the image actually fit. So I'm going to set it to fill and then it's going to force the image to fill into the container that we've created on screen. Now to decide which image with the values we need to assign a tag where we can get this value from. So I already have a counter tag, which I've called step number. So we'll add this in. And if we run that as is, we're going to see the, the image change every time the value changes. But just to make it a bit more useful, I'm going to add in some animated text. So I'm going to go to toolbox. I'm going to come down to texts and animated text. So I'm going to make this the same width and I'm going to increase the text size to 22. Actually let's make it 24. I'll come over to my properties. I need to set the tag here for the step number and then dynamic content object configuration. I'm going to say when the value is one, I'm going to put the, some text in. So I've, I've got the text already staged in a Word document. I'll just add all of this text in now. Now, if I want to, I can actually tell it to change the colors or change the way it executes it, but I just want it to change the text. So back to none, we hit OK and tick. Now I'm going to save this and run it. We can see as the step number changes, the image changes and the instruction for our operator. And that's how you use dynamic images an animated text in Movicon Next. Thanks for watching.